What is up everybody? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel. I'm back y'all. I'm back after a long, basically month long sort of hiatus. Let me tell you exactly what I've been up to. I may take this on to another video for another day, but let me get started by apologizing to everybody for taking this sort of pause, taking this sort of time to reevaluate what I was doing. Let me tell you exactly what happened, guys. I was up $600 on my account. I started with $5,000, grew it to $5,600, so $600. And over a series of basically two weeks, taking small profits, taking small profits, taking small profits. And in one very particular trade, basically it was over the next two or three trades, but that this one very first trade, um, knocked me basically down $450. That, that in itself was okay. But for the next two or three trades, I also lost and it brought me down in the negative from where I started at 5,000. And would you believe it? I'm actually down on my account that I started uh, with $5,000. I'm actually down $1,500. I'm down to $3,500. Now, Granted, that's not a whole lot of money that I'm actually down. That's not the issue. And also, I want to dive into a, a little bit more on the strategy on the trades and what happened, basically. And that's that's what this video is about. For the second half, literally the second half, you can't make it up, literally from June the 16th through the uh, June the 30th, the strategy was absolutely terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Out of 14 trades, 10 of them were losing trades, four were winning trades. Now here's the sad part. The reason why I'm down um, over, you know, basically $1,500, basically $2,100 from uh, the highest point of $5,600, or, or excuse me, $5,600, is I got, I let my emotions get the absolute best of me. What I mean by that is, I would get myself into a bad trade, bad trade, bad trade and by the third time i'm like hey i'm done i i'm i'm, I'm done uh, I'm getting punished here i'm out of the markets i'm just gonna let let it you know roll let it let this next trade just let go that very next trade was a winning trade and would i would have made up not all of my losses but i would have made certainly at least one maybe two of the bad losses that happened i was i wasn't in it then i i would tell myself well let me trade the next signal. So I would trade the next signal, bad trade, bad trade, bad trade. And then I would get sick and tired of losing, right? And then that very next uh, signal that I decide I would decide not to get in on was a winning trade. I can't make this stuff up, guys. Like literally, that's how it went for the second half of June. And I started thinking about it. Really, I'm I'm a numbers guy. Honestly, I'm a numbers guy and I thought that I did my due diligence really well in this strategy and I was able to turn a 40-60 split strategy, 40 winners, 60% losers, up to 80-85% winners and about 15% losers with the idea of scaling out. I would scale out using the ATR. So as soon as I would get in, I would look at the ATR where what that number was. I would set my um, first half to sell at whatever entry I got plus the ATR. In the second half, the idea was I was going to sell out at higher gains or sell if it comes back down to my entry level. Well, that turned my my 4060 strategy into an 8515. But here was the issue and I didn't account for it and it was my mistake, absolutely without a doubt. When I would win, I would win with half, when I would win big basically, right? When the strategy would win big, I would only win uh, big with half of my entire position. And whenever I lost, I would lose with my entire position, right? So if I would trade with four contracts, I would sell half at a small gain, which is two, and then the other two I would ride big, right? Um, but that wouldn't um, add up, that wouldn't sort of soak up all of the losers, the, the two that I'm winning big on wouldn't soak up uh, the times that I lost with all four contracts. I hope I'm making myself clear, guys. So 
that was my mistake and it took me a better part of about, of about a week to really truly understand my logic behind that and how it was flawed moving on to the next step in the strategy i took the data for the last 10 years on this strategy the very same strategy that i'm using that i was using that i'm still using and will continue to use i used the last 10 years last decade and really dissected it every year without flaw it would come out on top so that led me to believe well let the strategy do its thing just let it let it run let it ride don't think about um, uh, scaling out at ATR or anything of that nature. Just let the strategy do its thing. So literally get in when the signal comes in and get out when the signal comes out. Ba all based off the direction of the daily chart. Well, it seems to outperform every year regardless. Some years are way better than others. Back in 2017, after backtesting the strategy, the strategy itself trading one ES contract, and we're talking about the ES, not MES, the, the uh, micros, we're talking about the E-mini S&P 500 futures. Trading one of the ES contracts in 2017, it only produced $18,000 out of over 250 trades. That's a lot of trades for tiny profits sure one would think well just you know scale up your trades trade with two three four five contracts the problem is i don't have that kind of money to sort of put on the line uh for any one given year that's my number one problem and may i add that i do have something coming down the pipeline that i'm going to update everybody on the very next video so stay tuned for that so i went back and looked at the data and I actually took this strategy to another um, acquaintance uh, at this point um, he was just an acquaintance that, that I knew that traded here in the same town as me we collaborated we looked at it and he he came up with an idea that's quite um, genius in my head and so we started back testing it and then we started forward testing it um, with paper money, paper accounts, and whatnot. And so um, all of this led up to this conclusion. Just let the strategy do what it's good at, which is get in on the signal and get out on the signal. No scaling out whatsoever. That came out to a very interesting sort of result on top of the strategy that we're going to implement all together we're going to put everything together and trade it and, and again this is all based off the strategy off of the mobo band strategy i'm trading only in the direction of the daily chart and trading the one hour chart so stay tuned guys i promise you guys that i'm going to update you as soon as i can there's a couple of things, again, that um, have been coming down the pipeline that I haven't been able to uh, say or come out to the public and say exactly what's going on. But uh, we're getting to that point where we're all in agreement. Yes, hint, hint, foreshadowing. Uh, we're all in agreement, and I can actually come out and say exactly what we're up to. So thank you guys so very much for being extremely patient with me. Yes. I did lose $1,500, basically $2,100 from the extreme high of $5,600, and I'm down to $3,500, but hey, that's okay. This is the game, the stock markets, um, and you're going to get your, your butt kicked sometime. But stay tuned, guys. I have a lot of really cool things coming along. And then also, if you'll do me a favor, comment down below. Do you really want me to uh, keep updating my channel with all my trades, showing you my uh, entries and exits, or showing you live uh, the trade? If you do, comment down below, or if you don't, comment down below as well. I want to hear back from my subscribers, from my viewers. What do you guys want to see? I'm thinking that I'm going to go out and start interviewing um, better traders, more knowledgeable traders uh, than me. That's actually 
I'm sure that's everybody else in the world, but um, I, that's what I want to do. That's the, the direction I want to take uh, this channel is I want to start um, really getting advice and interviewing other more knowledgeable, uh, more competent traders anyways uh, than myself. Comment down below what you think about that idea. Thank you again, everybody, so very much. My channel is actually growing um, at a much faster rate than it was last year. I appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And we'll see you here on the very next video, hoping it's a green trade. See you guys later.